Hey fellas, can you see me? <laughs> oh mate, couldn't believe my luck. It's my birthday, yeah, some of you guys know, and some of you are kind enough to send me some gifts. I mean, honestly, the YouTube um, subscribers that I have are the best on YouTube, guarantee. Absolutely blown away by this lot. The top one's not from um, YouTube, it's from my friend Simon, who owns Wilderness Leisure. Um, found out it was my birthday and he decided to gift me a pair of these. <laughs> totally insane. I'll tell you what, some, some of you are bound to want to know what they are, so I'll give you a little um, a close up, if I can. That's the make of them there. They're um, snowshoes, if you haven't guessed them already. But these ones, you can see with the, um, the foot plate there. The foot plate actually turns when you walk, so you can go up and down hill and you're not going to have um, a flat ground that's going to move around. So very, very good, lightweight, strong snowshoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these um, open and uh, just attach them to the back um, of my seat, my driver's seat. So I've got my snow shovel and I'm going to have these in, so for winter time. Just in case I have to walk off-road for whatever miles with my go bag or my bug out bag. I'm going to be fine in the snow. So, very, very lucky and very, very made up to have a pair of these. Simon knows a hell of a lot about snow stuff and these are absolutely brilliant. So they're, they're US and Wilderness Desert are going to be getting loads of um, US stuff pretty soon. These are this year's as well, 2013. So, very, very happy. Very, very, very cool. Gonna unbox everything with my latest knife, and I'm absolutely fell in love with this. It came from Heaney Haynes the other day. Next day delivery, ordered it Monday. Come Tuesday midday. Very very great. Lovely, lovely tool there. Very very nice. So that's more or less my EDC now, and it come pretty much razor sharp out of the box. I'll just give it, I don't know, ten passes each side and a strop and you can shave with that very, very easily. Very, very nice tool. It's a great hold, perfect. And reverse grip is even better with your pinky going straight in there. Great. And I know it's a bit of a nasty thing, we're not talking bushcraft, but if you have to punch, if you've got something in your hand, it doesn't have, to, it can be anything, like a loiter, your fist becomes like stone. So, yeah, it's a nice little uh, self-defense tool. Very, very handy. 5.11. My first 5.11 knife. Made up with that, really cool. So, without further ado, because this is gonna be a long video, it's got all these parcels to get into. Right, where do I start? This one, I mean, all of these boxes, I've got no idea who they're from, apart from the bottom one. The bottom one's from Wayne, Sergeant Fruitcake, um, it's going to be my uh, stuff for the uh, shed, all my electric boxes, etc. But these ones, they come on the same day, um, last week, or early this week. Two parcels from the same person. And, uh, yeah. It says, parcel one of two, open first, on there. Really got no idea what they are. I haven't got a clue. Bloody hell. This seriously is a sharp bit of kit. Um, I might have to give her a bit of a clean up after this because, you know, going through packing tape goes a bit gunky. But yeah, baby, this is a great tool. Just put that over there, pointing out the way so I don't cut myself. Strange box. Let me see. Alright, we're in. Funky Prepper. All right, let's put that down. I haven't seen what's inside it yet. Very, very nice. Check this out. I've got to show you guys this. How nice is that? Very official. Someone's taken their time to do this, which I really appreciate. Optional unboxing letter and personal mail. Well, the personal mail is going out of the way. It's like bloody Christmas. 
Oh my goodness, it's like a life story. Look at all that. This is gonna be a long video. So, there it goes. Dear Funky, uh, I hope you're well buddy. It includes there are a few things that say thanks for all the videos, advice or ideas you have given me via YouTube. Keep the videos coming mate. I may even start posting some myself. Video's cool. What can you give a man who has everything? Cigars. I hear you cry. Yes, this promise are included. What? You will find a bottle of pain, 95% hot sauce. Oh my god, hot sauce. One packet of active wash travel laundry detergent. I've heard about this actually, and this was only um, yesterday. I saw it on one of my subscription tags that come down about like a soap that you can use in the field to do everything, cooking, cleaning, whatever. Wow. Um, a two packet of treats for Ellie Prepper and for the eyes, oh, my dog and my wife. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is crazy. See to some ultra seal day pack. Wind up torch, Tootsie Rolls. Oh my God. Have a great week, and if ever you're down this way, give me a holler. I'll have the EXO standing by. Wow, another EXO fan. It's from Stefan, AKA, oh God, it's foreign. Talaf Dinen. Talaf Dinen. Oh, thank you, Stefan. Very kind. I'll tell you what, before I open this, I've got to say this. Um, I've made quite a few, not a lot, but quite a few negative comments lately regarding my unboxing videos. They're saying I've gone too commercial and why do you keep on doing unboxing videos? Well, to be honest, I am getting pretty sick and tired of keep having to explain myself why I do this. And so I'm going to say this once. I'm not going to say it anymore because it's just, I keep getting fed up, keep saying the same thing. If someone um, takes their time and their money and their effort to go out of their way and to send me something, the least I can do, the very least I can do, is to share with everyone what I have received. It's common courtesy, it's decency, and above all, it's respect. I mean, I, I do believe and firmly believe I do have the best subscribers on YouTube. The, the things that I have received, the advice that I have been given, the, the help, the tips, everything, is just more than I ever dreamed, to be honest. So, if you don't like watching unboxing videos, don't watch it, it's as simple as that. You know, there, every time I do an unboxing video, I put unboxing in the title, so you do know it's an unboxing video. And if you don't like to watch unboxing videos, don't watch it. You know, maybe there's two, three, four, one after the other. It doesn't matter, it's just, it's just the way things are. You know, people send me stuff whenever they send them. I mean, I'm not gonna keep them all and open them on different days, trying to mix them up. These have done, you know, this has all come in the last two days. So rather than doing two different videos, I thought I'd do them in one video. So that's basically all I'm going to say about unboxing videos. If you don't like watching them, don't leave a negative comment. It's up to you, but if you do, you are a tosser, big time. And it's simple as that. I mean, all I'm doing is showing mutual respect for someone who's had the decency to send me some gifts as a thank you. It's a respect thing, simple as that. So. Forget where the negative stuff has gone now. Let's go on, shall we? Let's see what we got in here. This looks rather nice. It's a day pack. Oh my God. I've never seen one of these before. It's called Dura, good material. It's a day sack. Look how small it is. Put it in your pocket, open it up, and you've got loads of room for all sorts of things. I think every prepper should have one of these actually because if shit is the fan and it's like a book of Eli scenario and you're wandering around wastelands and you need to collect stuff, whatever, wow, get that out of your pocket and fill it up. Look at it, it's a little rucksack in a bag. I mean, how small is that? Stefan, that's wicked. Okay, I'm going to need a really big bug out bag and all this stuff. Oh, hey, look, it's put my name on there. Oh, mate, you've gone to so much trouble. This is brilliant. I can use these envelopes again to send stuff out, as I always do. Oh my goodness, what have we got here? 
Tootsie Rolls midi. Oh wow, they're Tootsie Rolls, but they're small. Put loads in there. Wow, made in the USA. Check it out. Tootsie Rolls. Chew a few. Wow, great for on a hike. <laughs> What's have we got here? Active wash. Handy travel detergent. Wow. It's like a little bar of soap or something in a little sealable box. Very, very good. As I do mention on some of my videos, hygiene in the field is very, very important. Can't reiterate that enough. It seriously is. Oh wow, this looks good. I like this. Unicom. It's one of those wind-up torches. But I'll tell you what, it's a lot better than the version I've got. It's got like um, a rubberized feel. You put that in, you lock it, and you got light. No need for batteries. That's wicked. It looks a lot more, a lot well built than the one I have. I got a, a two pound ninety nine Chinese thing like that one. Very very tactile. And that's nice. Seriously. Something else in there. What's this? Oh, it's a little band. What's this? Wounded Warriors. Got C A. C A. What's that? California maybe. I am a warrior. Wow, look at that. It's like a camo one too. Nice. Nice band. Very, very good. Total respect, Stefan. Total respect, mate. Preppers Parcels, Red Cross. YouTube organization, Committee International, Crew Rouge. Forget my French, Swiss. Oh, it could be Geneva, it could be a Swiss. A Swiss item. I'll well, be careful, because I'd like to reuse these. Um, packing envelopes. <gasps> OMG! <laughs> Flip it now. I'll tell you what, I might take that to show Scott. I don't know what that's like. I haven't read any reviews. I don't usually go for the really, really hot chilli sauce. I used to. I've been here and done that a long time ago, but Colonel Funky's guts ain't as strong as they used to be. But I should imagine if this is hot as I think it is, if you just add a tiny little amount, that goes a long, long way. So any of you that have um, come across this before, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to share with you what it's like in time. I'm not trying it now because I'm going on a holiday pretty soon and I don't want to risk my ass being bad for this. <laughs> wow, that's going to funk up any old food, that will. That is awesome. I'll tell you, I'll put it there where it's safe for ain't we knocked over. Oh, there's more. Really, this is just crazy. Oh my god. Seagars, London. Oh my god. Flip that now, Stefan. This is, this is too much. And there's another box to come as well, oh my goodness. Alright. Play cigars. Mm -hmm. Let's see, shall we? I hope I'm opening this right. Oh, I don't think it's a pool box, or is it? Maybe not. So I'm just going to open it up from the top. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh wow, I'll tell you what, someone who knows what they're doing, <laughs> check it out, oh, I love these, I have loads of these, Davidoff, great cigars, great cigars, Davidoff, wow, these are actually Dominican Republic, not from Cuba, but they're very, very nice, and I tell you, they're metal tubes as well, perfect for overnighters, oh yes. Yes! Oh, happy days! Oh, man. I just had two really good cups of coffee from my friend Simon at Wilderness Leisure. And just a smell of a cigar is enough. Oh, wow. Jesus. Gee whiz. Look at this. Nah, 
that's lovely. That's a nice that's a nice stick right there. You the man. You the man, Stefan. I can't thank you enough. Bloody hell, not one but fucking two. Two quality cigars. And I know these are quality as well because I've spoken before. Oh bloody hell. In mint condition too. These have got the Spanish cedar inside as well, so you can um vent them accordingly for moisture. Oh man, you get the white humidity in them in the last ages. You probably won't even fume door if you look after them correctly. Oh, there's another there's another <laughs> This box is like a bloody TARDIS. I can't believe this. This is gonna be a long video because I've got more boxes to get through yet. Oh bless you mate. Oh something for the doggies too, look at that. Think of everything. Eddie's gonna love those in the holiday. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh bless you mate. What, what a lovely guy. I can't believe this. Oh mate. <laughs> the box is empty at last. I never thought we'd get to the bottom of it, but we did. And let's put that big box down. And here we go, I'll show you. Box number two. And I'll tell you what, you've done a really good job packing these. Romance is never dead with proper packing paper. You've wrapped this up very well, my friend. And I'm gonna uh, unwrap it very well. With my scalpel tactical blade, that is awesome. Wow. Let's see what we've got in there. Candles? Oh my god. Enough candles to last a bloody lifetime. Oh, it's candle making. <laughs> Make your own candles, oh mate, oh, that's quality. Bloody hell, it's a whole kit, I think. <laughs> Art of candle making. Do you know what? I remember making candles a long time ago when I was a boy. And you had like the rubber moulds and you got like the um, the wax and like little chips and you heat them up slowly, pour them in there with a the wick in the middle and a pencil and... Wow. This has uh, rekindled my candle making days. Flipping out, man. <laughs> that's wicked. Oh, what? That's gonna. That's the whole kit in there, isn't it? What we got in there? Another letter. Oh, I broke my own rule. I should have read the letter first. Never mind. Let's have a look. Team Funky. <laughs> oh well. I tell a story stencil as well, which is what my channel is. Dear Funky, stop press. Extra depth tea lights. Now you can make them at home with your very own candle making kit. Just throw out the girly moulds included and use extra depth tea light case. Oh. Or make for 100% waterproof matches from a Sergeant Fruitcake. Ah. I'll tell you what, Wayne is such an inspiration um, about making stuff. Um, I really can't wait to get that shed done because I'm going to be spending an awful lot of time in there making stuff because I love to make stuff but I just can't do it in the house without any tools so I will get around to making stuff and uh, oh yeah Sergeant Fruitcake is the way is the way mate brilliant there we go out of the duke twine yeah I've got some duke twine yeah make your own fire lighters. sorry Dan if this is over the weekend just had to buy it for you oh bit of a jokey gift but it does has it have its usefulness stay funky Stefan aka Talif Dinen wow that is all more <laughs> I've lost the words here awesome <laughs> look at all this stuff bloody hell all I do is make videos What can I say? 
That is just amazing. I'm gonna need a bigger house. <laughs> Holy cow. I'll tell you what, um, I have to go on to the next video. Sorry, the next box. I'm all tongue tied now. Oh, I ain't got a clue how long this has been running, but. Oh man, I've just got to whisk through this. This is from Sergeant Fruitcake, tied in nicely. Um, to go into the Man Cave project. Some of you are aware that um, I've got all the installation done, I've got all the boarding out done, and all I need to do now is to find um, a spare weekend. Um, it's going to be early October, so it's going to be another month away. Because I've just got so much on, family things and whatnot. Um, but hoping to get them the Sparky Steve, who's been a great help, who I've found through Armour Cockroach. Um, hopefully, if the weather's favourable and we get our act together, we can get the shed done in a day, get all the electrics done. And if we're lucky, get the wiring from the house to feed the shed as well. Maybe over the weekend, two days, but it'd be worth doing. Oh my, <laughs> Wayne, what have you done? Ah, oh, check it out. USMC Pro magazine. These are literally not too far away in a place called Portsmouth, which is the nearest town to me. And um, I've been there with um, Ken, K Jumper One, and Chris, his son in law. Wow, they have got some awesome gear in here. Thanks, Wayne. That is some wicked bog time reading right there. That's staying in the cars, he mate. Man, I'm going to be ages dumping now with that in there. <laughs> Cheers, brother. And, oh yeah. He has put a bloody phone point. I don't <laughs> fix the roof in. I've got enough boxes. What have we got here? Oh, twin sockets for phones. I can chrome them myself for a piece of cake. I've got chrome at all somewhere in my box. Speaking of boxes, loads of boxes. Wiring accessories. Oh, Wayne, man, you certainly, buddy. Yeah, pretty much. Um, catered for now. Yeah, nice and simple. I could do all this myself actually, but I just need um, the Sparky to sign it off. You know, because as I said in the other video, if you do have to sell your house and the surveyor comes around, noticing you've done some recent work, which it will be quite recent because it's all going to look new, he's going to want to see certificates and whatnot. If I can't provide them, well, it's no end of bloody shit. Sergeant Fruitcake. Back boxes, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the um, surface mounted stuff. So uh, it eliminates the risk of drilling through the, um, the boarding out that I've done. Going into any cables, all the cables are gonna be visible on the surface of the boarding. Um, I'll probably put them in conduit on the safe side. I don't really want like exposed wires really fucking out there. So Wayne, that is wicked mate, sending that all the way from Northern Ireland. Bloody hell, top boy. Thank you mate, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. And last but not least, this one. Um, I'm gonna cover up the sender's name and address. I've blanked out my own. Oh, and I've kept the sender's address on there in case, because what I tend to do is, most people that send me stuff, I tend to write their name and address down in my little black book, contact book. So if the internet goes down or whatever, at least I know where everyone's going to be at, so it's a good idea. Prepping's prepping, right? All I know about this is um, Scott from Wessex Blades sent me a PM saying, um, along the lines of someone I know has um, asked me for my address um, to send you something. So like a mug, I said yes, okay, of course. I trust Scott and I trust his judgment. So. I've got something to unbox here. I really don't know what it is, but Scott says oh, I'm gonna like it or something. So, whoever sent it, so I hope I'm not cutting it too deep. I hope I'm not cringing, but um, this is such a wicked knife. Man, it's one of the rare knives that you actually get out of the box, and it literally is, you can shave yourself, which I did try. It's awesome. I hate saying that word awesome, I hate awesome. But it is cool. <laughs> right. That's a that's like wallpaper. 
Okay, I'll keep the sender's address there. Recycle packaging, which is always good. Tough wallpaper, that's a good idea for packaging, I like that. Yeah. So. It's got a keyboard box in there, but I suspect it's not a keyboard. But it could be, that'd be weird, wouldn't it? Okay. If you want to try to keep, what's this? If you want to try to keep any surprise, read after unboxing. Yeah, yeah, we like surprises, don't we? I still don't even know who sent it. I've got the um, the guy's real name, but I don't know what this YouTube name is. So at, at this moment in time, I really got no idea who sent this. Let's get that packaging off down there. That's what's in the front. And it's also put, please turn over, just in case I open it this side. So, um, we're gonna remove that. Read that after. So, I don't know how I'm gonna open this. Um, I'll go by the original intentions and uh, open how the box was designed to go open, I think. Oh, let me jump. Hi darling, my voice just walked in. Still not opening up. Um, I think I've got a cut down the top as well. Let's try a reverse combat grip. Oh, scary. That is cool, that fade. Right. Oh, let's see what it is. A clue. Can anyone see what it is? Because I sure as hell can't. So weird. Oh, my. I've got a feeling it's a knife or something. Well, the box is empty now, I think. Yeah, it's a knife, it's gotta be. What a weird shape. <laughs> the zombie chopper. Oh, I can't believe it. It can't be a knife. Bloody hell, Scott, you know more than I do, mate. I think I've established by the feel of that bit sticking out the end, it's a handle. Oh, I still don't know what it is. Fantastic job packing it. in hell.
they, look, they do look weird, but I'll tell you what, as a working tool, they feel so right. Gee, that is balanced. Fantastic. Flipping shit. Oh, man, I can't believe this. Oh. Yeah, it's technique, that's all, because it's a new tool for me. But it, it is sharp, believe me. me. I will get the annual fuse in it. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> I don't need that no more, do I? Let's put that little puppy away. Oh, it's got two other things in there. I didn't see this. Oh, look at the little companion blades. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, they're comp... Well, I don't know. They can't be blades because they're not... Well, that one looks like it's convex slightly, but it's dull. And that one just looks like stock. Unless, you know, you sharpen it yourself. I don't know. It's certainly rustic, which is absolutely beautiful. Oh, that is, that is an amazing smell coming off of that leather. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, cookery, I can't, look at that. And that is thick. Look how thick that is. You guys have got to see this. I'm blown away. I'm blown away, baby. Look how thick that is. <laughs> That's my pinky. Right there. That is quite thick. Gee, flipping whiz. Oh, I just can't believe it. Oh, man. <laughs> That's too much. That's too bloody much, man. Shit, there's a note. Oh my god, I've got to read a note. Great fit. And also, looking at that sheath, it's an idea to hold it to withdraw the tool on the spine. You don't really want to put your hands over that. It's not going to drop out on its own. That is. Well, I'm loving the handle and with the back ramps there, the pummel, yeah, that you can get an amazing amount of grip on there. And it's quite small, so you can really get a good hold on it. If you've got some bigger handled tools and your hands aren't so big, it's very hard to get your hand all the way around there and have a good grip. But this is perfect for my hand. Or well, now I've just got. Um, I think they're size nine, my hands. Nine to nine and a half. That is, wow, that just feels wicked. And I love these little things. Look at that for detail stuff. That's neat. I'm going to need to get myself a grinder to go in the shed. One of those one by thirties that everyone seems to be getting. Because you can use, oh, sorry. I've got a bit of semen dust in my eye. Sleepy dust. Subscriber dust, magic subscribers, bloody pixie dust. Right, I'll go open this letter now. Wow, nice letter that opens up cool. Oh. Just see who it's from. Dear Darren, AKA Funky Prepper. I saw you on a vid with Scott, based for your E6, which is now Wessex Blades Bushcraft, I think now, um, which involved a tarp and a shitload of sharps. That's right, the blades in the woods. I couldn't help but notice you went a little more than drooly <laughs> at one of the cookeries I sent him. Oh, you're the guy who sent Scott a cookery. 
Cool, so Dusty Pilgrim, yes. Oops, sorry if I let the cat out of the bag early. Oh, man. I oh, know it's genuine. Oh, flip it now. That is just mint. Oh, I've got to compose myself now. I'm crap at reading at the best of times. Never alone on camera and never alone with a buddy with all this stuff going on in my head right now. This is crazy shit. So bear with me, but I'll try. You've got to try. Oh, fuck. I may be wrong, but I've got the idea you might like one. As... My, oh, see, this is what I mean, I'm getting all tongue-tied. I may be wrong, but I got the idea you might like one that was definitely made in Nepal and genuine, etc. Yeah, because I did look, actually. I went on the, um, the site. It might have been you, actually, that would recommend the site that I checked it out. Oh, I forgot what the site was called anyway. Oh, I digress. I'll continue with the reading. I have to admit, I had a tussle actually deciding to part with one as well I am probably just a bit of a greedy bastard when it comes to these items. Do you know what, I couldn't agree more, I'm starting to get a bit of a knowledge collection now, I've probably got over 20, 25 blades or so and every now and again I think to myself, oh I'll send um, some guys um, something, what can I send them? I'll send them a knife. And then I sit down and I try and think to myself, well, what knife um, do I not really like and not really use that I could just give away? But it's very, very hard. I know where you're coming from. It's hard to choose one and to give it away. Because I suspect there'll be a regret, not a regret, but um, a withdrawal process when you go to get that knife from there. I mean, shit, it's not there no more. I gave it to someone. So maybe it's greedy, but I do understand what you're saying. And I really respect you for what you've done. I mean, you've really made my day. Um, before I carry on with this letter, just quickly, I have had a really shit week, big time shit week. Just about to go on holiday, um, as I said earlier, to celebrate my 42nd birthday. Um, so obviously I've done my bit by um, selling some surplus gear that I didn't no longer need um, on a recent video. So I raised some funds that way. And um, that was going towards the pay for the holiday. Um, the truck just failed an MOT for its first time. Um, 500 pound it cost to do the repairs to get it through the MOT which I couldn't have done because I don't have the tools and I don't have the time to do um, the repairs myself. So I let the garage deal with it all. I mean, I trust the garage. They're the guys who sprayed my truck and they're good lads, really. Um, they've waived the MOT, sorry, they waived the VAT for me. So um, it was a cash deal. So, so yeah, I was like 500 pound light just by that. And then the next day, believe it or not, um, just about to, um, uh, no, sorry, oh, what am I talking about? I was at work and one of my friends said, um, you got a flat tyre. Oh, Christ. So I looked at it and where it was, it is about 80% deflated. So I drove it straight around to the tyre place. Um, they tried to repair it. Um, they couldn't. So I took it back around there because it was leaking air again. Um, long story short, a new tyre. And the tyres the that I've got are expensive. Well, to me anyway. They're £120 for one tyre. So, you know, that's more money I've got to pay for. And with the holiday stuff as well, and it's just it's had a shit week basically. And it's just all seemed to be coming on top, and it's been raining and God knows what else. But this, man, I've, I've just forgotten about all the pain. This is amazing. I mean, I now own a genuine cookery, and I never thought I would. Oh, man. I'll carry on with this letter if I can. This is tough, seriously. I um, forgot where I've got to now. I do apologise for this, but this is real life, and I'm not going to edit all this. This is just real stuff. Um, oh, yeah, I'm, I'll follow on. I have to admit, I had a tussle actually deciding to part of this one, as I'm probably a bit of a greedy bastard when it comes to these items. Yeah, I can agree more, as I said. However, I saw a vid where you mentioned your birthday was imminent. Yeah, that's true, I slipped out actually, and decided what the hell and come up with one. So I did. You should have opened it by now, unless you missed the note um, or some divvy. <laughs> it might be me. No, I saw the note, as I said. Um, forgot to scribble on the envelope. No, it's working out a treat. It's having a desired effect. Oh, bloody hell. 
Um, I don't intend sending every YouTuber I watch a cookery. Man, I know what you mean. I'd like to send every one of my sub stuff, but we just can't afford it and I haven't got the time to do it. We just haven't. The post prices, as you know, the Royal Mail is, is currently being privatised and the prices have gone friggin' stupid. I don't mean stupid. I mean, it, it probably cost a guy bloody £15 just to send this. Let's have a look. Oh no, I'll tell you, £8.90 is pretty good. But if you get the sizes of the packages wrong, you've had it. They sting you. They're bastards, the Royal Mail. Oh, they're bastards. They're bastards. We will get to the bottom of this there. I do apologise. Um, just went all shaky at the time. Yeah, fair enough. Man, God bless you for this. But as you were also one of the early ones I have watched a hell of a lot, you seem to qualify. <laughs> oh, mate. I really appreciate that. Well, yeah, I've got over 6,000 subs. It's just a number. But there is a call cool, um, section of subscribers who have more or less followed me from the very early days, back in January 2012. So a long time ago now for me. And um, yeah, they've been there and watched pretty much almost every video. And you know who you are. And I really do appreciate your comments and support. And the gifts, I mean, flipping unbelievable. I mean, I never thought you'd get gifts by putting videos on YouTube. Wow. Especially ones as awesome as this. Seriously, this is a great blade. Um, the one I have sent you isn't huge. It is a loiter um, seruptate blade with an unfinished white wood handle that is rough rat tail um, concealed tang rather than an exposed full tang panawa or panawa. Um, apologise if I'm getting all the pronunciation wrongs, but um, I'm not Tibetan. <laughs> Um, uh, I might not take the kind of all out atomic pounding the heavy ones will. However, I had a few of these made up in plain wood finish as trial items to be marketed as bushcraft knives. I hope you don't mind me reading this out. It doesn't say do not read, so I'm just going to read it. Um, so the finish was left open to the potential buyer. Oh, that's a nice touch, so you can customise it yourself. Very good idea, because if you went in Gloucester and you'd, yeah, I see your point, very good. Um, please don't do it. Electric blue or neon pastels, I would cry. No, 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 no. No, not a chance. In fact, all of the knives I have in my collection, none of them have got gay handles and when I say gay handles, I apologise to anyone who does like different colour handles, but the only handles I like on my knives are natural wood, olive drab, or black, or camo. Blues, yellows, pinks, greens, not for me, I'm afraid. That's the end of it. So yeah, yeah, we're cool with that one, brother. It ain't going to be no silly blue gay colour. <laughs> um, where was I? I would cry. Stain or just oil them would look very, very, very nice. Yeah, um, there is a few um, oils that um, a lot of knife makers in the UK use. I think linseed oil is a favourite. I know Scott uses linseed. He doesn't like gently um, rub a piece in. He leaves it a soak right in. <laughs> Man, he's nuts. But he likes doing it, and he knows what he's doing. It toughens it up, so I fully understand why, does it? It's brilliant. It does look nice and glossy too. <laughs> anyway, it is a full on blade and totally authentic, handmade in Nepal. Chamak and Kada included. I'm presuming that's the names of the two smaller items that accompany the sheep. As I say, I'm a virgin to all this stuff, so I'm learning on the way, but I'll tell you what. After just using it for a little bit with Scott in the woods, it is brilliant, brilliant design. And, mate, never change that design. They're brilliant, they really are. As said, it was made as a trial blade. So it may need a sharpen. Oh, I didn't test it. Uh, that's right, it's, um, it's sharp enough for chopping wood. But you can get it razor sharp. 
but I don't know. I'm always one of the, um, if you've got a chopping, a heavy chopping tool, it should never cut paper because you're just going to smash the edge up on it. You're going to ruin the edge. So I'll, I'll see how I get on. If I think it needs to sharpen after a few, so we say, general camp tasks, then um, then I will. I'm confident sharpening most blades now, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I imagine you can do either of that. Or no, man, it can. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> um, it was imported just as they started messing with the law. Wow, really? And frankly, made it such a piffing, confused mess about it. It wasn't worth the little guy's bother trying to keep going. Oh, wow. I um, hope it doesn't let you down. I don't think it will. <laughs> That's a timeless classic. Um, or at least it makes a nice wall hanger. Nice wall hanger? Let me tell you something, Will. <laughs> you may or may not know about me. Every knife I own to do with bushcraft and survival gets used. I'm not into having something to look at. Always use my knives. Knives are a good tool. If you want something to look at, get a picture. Don't look at a knife. And if people want to collect knives, that's fine. It's entirely their choice and it's up to them. But it's not for me, mate. Every knife I've got, I use. And that ain't going to be hanging on no wall. Not a chance. <laughs> well, I don't know. I could hang it up in the shed and use it whenever I need to. I will come across that bridge later on. <laughs> um, let me see. I hope it doesn't let you down here. Yeah, of course, it never let me down. So, happy birthday, and I hope you enjoy my small way of saying thanks for all the entertainment and interest your vids and massive investment of time has provided to your YouTubers. Or two YouTubers, should I say. And of course, myself, regards and thanks, Will, aka YouTube, Dusty Pilgrim One. I'm going to frame that. I'm going to frame that letter, and it's going to be in my um, shed. Absolutely. You seriously, you have made my week, my friend. That is just absolutely, it's beautiful, isn't it? And it shines. I love shiny blades. Shiny blades are cool. And look how thick that stock is. That's really tapered down. It's got a brass um, section on there. I'm not sure what the section's called. Scott will probably have a pop at me in the woods later on, but I love it. I really love it. I don't know a lot about knives. Um, but I probably know a bit more than the Joe Puppet on the street, which I'm happy with. It's beautiful. I absolutely friggin' love it. And I'm sorry for swearing earlier. It's unlike me, but I just couldn't help myself. I'm not going to edit it out. I might put a warning up for the, um, the kids or whatever before, so you've got time to mute it. But I do apologise for the bad language. But this has completely taken me by surprise. Oh, and I forgot one thing, I smelled the handle. Oh, I smelled the oil on that blade. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, it is. That is uh, it's sharp enough. And probably one of the reasons why it's not cutting so well is because it's all greasy and oily. But looking along that edge, it's got, it's got hardly any spots on the edge. I mean, I'm seeing about two or three, but they're so small. Um, I'm pretty sure stropping will actually uh, get that sharp actually. Probably doesn't need any profiling because it does feel lean all the way along there. <sighs> Man. I want to take that on holiday now. <laughs> wow. That is a great tool. And I can't see that breaking anywhere. I mean it looks, this weakest point will probably be there obviously. But considering how thick that stock is. Nah, you're gonna to have to give it some serious badass way to smash that up. And obviously, you know, when you get a blade, it only takes common sense to know its limitations. You know, I'm not gonna be whacking through steel girders and concrete bricks. No, no, it's too nice. It deserves a lot more respect than that. It just feels just right, it's so well balanced. 
really is. It's an amazing thing to get a good grip on it too. Well, I'm not sure about, um, it's no lanyard hold on it, so I'm a bit, a bit scared about safety. I mean, I'll never give a toss on it, but when I've done my leg, it really woke me up. And I do tend to lanyard most of my knives, especially big knives. So whether it's a bad idea to drill a hole in there and put a hand lanyard on it, it probably is a bad idea, but let me know your thoughts on that anyway. <laughs> Seriously blown away. Flipping out. <sighs> Sorry it's been a long video, guys. What can I say? It's the truth. You know, it's the least I can do is to show respect for my opening and stuff, you know. There are some YouTubers who get sent stuff and you never unbox it, which is up to them, obviously. But I just feel it's a little bit disrespectful, maybe a little rude. That's just me. But um, I don't give a shit what people think about unboxing videos on my channel. I have to do it because it feels the right thing to do. If someone goes out of their way and it's time I make an effort to send me something, the very least I can do is to open it and share with you guys my true thoughts on it. And you know, hopefully people will see things like this, and uh, you know, the comments underneath, people will talk about things, and people can learn from them comments. So yeah, to me, it's all good things. So all of the haters, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Sorry for that to be said, but at the end of the day, I really do know I am one lucky son of a bitch to have beautiful subscribers and non-subscribers. Anyone who watches my video is a friend to me. Blown away, Will, and Stefan, and Wayne, and Simon, <laughs> and Scott. It's just nuts. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys, and stay funky.